So I can't find the vanilla yogurt that I want. And guess what? I see a guy behind there stacking the shelves. And I go, hi, excuse me, sir. Um, I was having trouble finding the uh, this yogurt. And he goes, oh, I don't work here. I went from zero to 100 like that. Oh, he might be telling the truth. What do you mean? Like the the secondary like company like at uh, Chick Fil A and stuff like the people that would come and like load the stuff for us they don't work at Chick Fil A. Yeah, you just gave away the. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was con. Oh no, I didn't realize it was gonna build up to that moment. I thought, hey, let's pretend that didn't happen, and tell me your story again. <laughs> Hello, hello. Welcome to another great episode of Wee Sam's World. It's me, Wee Sam. And that's Peyton Grufik, my awesome producer, friend, lover, uh, Constantinople enthusiast, leaves his phone on. Is that the scam? Uh, yeah, they are. They are determined to tell me about my car's extended warranty. Well, you're but a target. You look like a target. I know, but have I gotten news for them about my car? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> If you uh, listen to last week's episode, you'll realize that there is no car anymore. There is no for, car. <laughs> for Pete. <laughs> His car is in parts right now. I got my wife's car, though. So That's right. It's all good. Her car is nicer anyway, so. Yeah, very much nicer. Um, for those uh, wondering and asking, hey, when's your iTunes going to be fixed uh, on Apple Podcasts? Um, we don't know. <laughs> it's out of and our hands. It's out of our hands at this point. So. This is what I'm going to direct everybody towards is Spotify. Yes. And you can listen to it for free on there. You don't need a Spotify subscription. Yeah. Also on YouTube, you can watch it and listen to it for free. Yeah. So that's where you can watch the show. Just search We Sam's World. Boom. All the episodes in the correct order. And that's where you should go. We're going to update our website too. I realize I hadn't updated that in a while. You want to hear something really sad? Uh, sure. I didn't even know we had a website. Oh. <laughs> that is a little upsetting. I, I had no idea we had a web. We have a website? We do, man. For the show? It's just We Sam's World, and it directs people to, you know, the pro proper places. I had no idea. Yeah, there's a player on there as well. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, every, every, you need a website. You have PeytonGrufik.com, I would hope so. It's in the works. What? It's in the works. What do you mean it's in the works? I shut it down for a bit. I wasn't happy with it. Uh, we'll talk about this later, but it seems like to me like you shut down a lot of your projects online and you go rogue. <laughs> you're you're like those YouTubers <laughs> who are doing great, and then all of a sudden yeah. they ghost you for six months to a year. Corey and, Kenshin? Yeah. By the way, I'm so glad he's back. I'm so glad Oh, he's, he's back? back? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. He was dealing some with some family problems, some okay. um, COVID-related well, unfortunateness. I'll go with that then. That's why I shut down my website. You can't do that. Why? Because it's a lie, and you just decided that now. And Okay, I'm having car problems, and you're, so i got to shut down my website for a bit. You're lying. I am having car problems. Yeah, but that's not why your website is being shut down. You're obviously lying, and that's... <sighs> <laughs> But no, I want, I want, I wanted to like, like I've, in the past month I've updated my reel, uh, looking Good. to get some updated headshots and everything. Like I'm just kind of wanting to do a fresh yeah. little thing That's right good. now. That's good. Uh, we, uh, first of all, if you're listening live on Adobe radio, thank you for tuning in. Our subscribership on YouTube is slowly growing again, which is yeah. awesome. And, uh, we're getting a lot of new followers. Her last clip was a lot of fun. Was a lot of fun with so much Jasmine. Fun. Yeah. Down. And uh, what was I going to say to you people? Oh, some things we're going to talk about before we head into the break. So just so you guys know, uh, we're going to talk about the new iPhone that's coming out. Not necessarily the tech specs, but the excitedness of new tech is starting to almost. It's it's not starting to. It's faded away for me. Mm. Like I don't get super excited about like the new tech as i used to yeah and uh we'll i'll explain why uh after the break here in a little bit uh i also wanted to update you guys if you saw my post on my personal account we sam quiche that uh, we're building a new studio here and i spent eight 
hours yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Putting that thing up. Bro. That's good. Thanks to Tom and a couple other people for helping me just hold the pillars while I put the <laughs> – you know what I mean? Like you need yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah, you need – And I just – you know. Also, we need to get another drill. Do you have a drill? Because that's going to make I had things – a baby like, drill, but it's a drill. Okay, yeah, because we're going to need that. It's just going to make life so much yeah. easier whenever we're screwing things in. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? What else is going on in our in in our life? That 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 new studio is going to be so freaking awesome. It is. Yeah. Oh, can't wait. I'm excited and to have that. The new music with it. Like it's just going to be. It's going to be a whole new show. It really is. It really is. And also, I'm excited to do bad movie night in there. Yeah. Because that'll be a cozy place to do bad movie night. Mm-hmm. And also. You still haven't looked at the M1 Max, that link I sent you, did you? I looked at it. Oh, what'd you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really have a strong opinion about it. All right. Like, I liked the design. Yeah. Like, thing, but when they start going into, like, I don't know computers, when they start going in, we're using the new M1 chip, what does that mean? I don't know what that right. means. Like, But, like, yes, it looks very, like, I look like I, it looks like I could pick it up with one hand. You can. Yeah. And that's why I'm. And that's cool. Yeah. The next month, they're going to be announcing the new the updated new Max, and there mm-hmm. might be a larger Max or whatever. Yeah. So here's the thing is, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm waiting to hear some good news. If I book this recurring, we're definitely going to do this. Um, what I think we should do is completely update the computers because sometimes we yeah. do those Zoom things. Yeah, yeah. You know, that I hate doing Zoom, but that's our only I know. option to do yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But also for, like, bad movie night, Whenever we have to lug the main computer in, maybe we'll have it live there. I don't know. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. It just depends on what we want to do, how right. we want to do it. With so, the new studio, if we ever do Zoom things, we can have a cool thing where we put the person on the TV, and you know, it's gonna be badass. Yeah, I wonder. We'd have to have a separate webcam so they can see me. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I got one. Your it's fancy a nice one. It's a it's a nice little hundred dollar webcam. Wow, hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. I barely use it. That's the thing. <laughs> but I have it. Isn't it funny how $100 doesn't seem like much nowadays? I know. But if you get $100, it's not that much. But if you owe 100 bucks, you're like, oh. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, yeah. It's like a streamer webcam. It's what, like, the Twitch streamers oh. want to use. So, yeah. Do you Twitch stream? I want to, eventually. Yeah. yeah. But you don't know how to do it? I know how to do it now, yeah. But I'm not happy with. I wanna. I wanna. Kind of like you. I want. I, I want a cool little like set or something behind it. I want to be cozy and happy when I'm Twitch streaming, and I found I haven't been. Yeah. So I'm trying to find a way to make it cozy and happy and just have a good time. Because I'm thinking too much about like, oh, is everything looking good? Is right. that, and I'm thinking about all that, and yeah. I'm not just enjoying my time you know oh I, I i definitely understand that i think having a home base for when you're being creative or when you're in just enjoying yourself yeah is super important and i can only imagine when you're doing twitch streaming that's why you want everything just ready to go yeah so you don't have to think about it that's why i like i think our best shows with a guest is in whenever we can just that's why i want we're built that's one of the main reasons we're building this new studio because uh, uh listen it's great that we have all these opportunities to share the space and everything, but I don't want to share space anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to go in there and shoot, and that's it. Right. I don't want to worry about, like, did somebody unplug this or did somebody do this? No. I want us to come in. Guest comes in. We're already recording. We sit in, and it's it's a smooth smooth process yeah. like that. Nick Major can use it, though. He does some great lighting. That's true. And, I, and Nick Major would leave it the way it was. That's so true. So I wouldn't worry about Nick. Like unplugging something or so leaving. It's only a mess. for us and Nick Major. Right. Cool. <laughs> That's it. No one else. Not even Tom can come inside. Not even Tom. By the way, I guess he lost the recall election. Tom did because we remember doing that. I know. Movie. Yeah. To be fair, whoever like his marketing team was, they did a terrible job. I didn't see his face anywhere. Unbelievable. I know. How are we on time? Should we go to a break? Phone shut off. Uh, give us one more minute. One more minute. I'll What's just... new with you? <laughs> I have allergies right now. Man, I have freaking allergies. And it's the change of this. You know, it's yeah. getting a little colder. Yeah, yeah. And immediately, I sh- I turned on my AC in my apartment, and I was fine. And this has happened before. Whenever yeah. I turn an AC, all of a sudden, 
my nose just goes, and I'm like, uh, uh, and that's how I know it's allergies. Yeah. Whenever it hits, when the inflammation in my nostrils hits immediately, okay, here, here it comes. Yeah. I found something that helps, though. What? You're going to laugh. Frozen apple juice, which I usually eat every now and then as a summer treat or frozen OJ. Interesting. Yeah. Why does it help? The cold, I guess, in okay. my mouth. And it and it literally, as I was e eating it, oh, I could breathe again. Yeah. Alex, Alex, our co uh, our, our co producer on the show, who runs the social media, she put her fingers on my my sinuses. Mm -hmm. She does. She's a licensed massage medical massage therapist. She goes, oh my god, I can feel your heartbeat through your sinuses because they're so inflamed. Insane. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen, we're gonna take a really quick break, but when we're back. We're going to talk about tech, uh, uh, some things that have been – oh, oh, I yelled <laughs> at a Whole Foods uh, worker. Oh, no. I yelled at a Whole Foods worker. Oh, no. What did you do? We'll be back. <laughs> All right. So I'm at Whole Foods grocery shopping. And I open up the refrigerator, and I'm trying to search for the yogurt that I want. Which, by the way, I like vanilla whole milk yogurt, preferably okay. organic, but at least all natural. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want any added sugar. That's where they, they, they trick you when they say right. zero fat. You're like, oh, this is healthy. It's not. They have like 14 grams of added sugar in, yeah, a, yeah. in a half a cup, so it's not healthy for you. Right. So you want the ones with no sugar added and that little bit of vanilla. Um, also, a little life hack with that. You can add just regular uh, yogurt, whole milk Greek yogurt, and just add a little bit of uh, honey on top of it. Mm -hmm. Not too much. And, you, yeah. and that's healthy too. So yeah. it still gives you that sweetness. So I can't find the vanilla yogurt that I want. And guess what? I see a guy behind there stacking the shelves. Like he's in the refrigerator unit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I go, hi, excuse me, sir. Um, I was having trouble finding the uh, this yogurt. And he goes, oh, I don't work here. And I went from zero to 100 like that. Oh, he might be telling the truth. What do you mean? Like the the secondary like company, like at uh, Chick-fil-A and stuff, like the people that would come and like load the stuff for us, they don't work at Chick-fil-A. Yeah, you just gave away the, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was con – oh, no. I didn't realize it was going to build up to that moment. I thought, hey, let's pretend that didn't happen and tell me your story again. <laughs> so you were you were looking for the yogurt, and he goes, I don't work here. What happened next? <laughs> oh, my God. What happened next, we Sam? This was such an honest moment from both of us. Like – you took away. I thought you were genuinely confused. On the moment, yeah, because it for sure as hell looked like he worked there. <laughs> so I go, you don't work here? And I said it like that. So mean. And he goes, no, 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 no. I'm a vendor. I'm a vendor. <laughs> and I go, oh. And I start laughing. He starts laughing. And it ended nicely, but... Yeah, I didn't know that, man. You knew, you're like, oh, that's because he doesn't work there. There you go. Did you work at a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Vendors never stocked our stuff. Really? Oh yeah, no, they just dropped off the boxes. I did. My gotcha. brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never stocked. It. They never stocked it. For I us. guess in the coming years, it's become expected for a vendor the, to the do the vendors that? to do it. That's crazy to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But it just, you know, you got to admit, like, since I didn't know that situation. That's fair. And if for you him, didn't know. Yeah, and for him to go, oh, I don't work here. Then, like, what? Right. who are you? <laughs> then what are you doing? Ba and, it and I was already a little on edge because of the way maybe he said, oh, I don't work here. Yeah. Maybe he was like, oh, man, I'm a vendor. I just stock the shelves. Maybe if you said that right off the bat, I would have been like, right. oh, okay. All right. But he's like, oh, I don't work here. Like, not my problem. And the, yeah, I guess yeah. that made me so – like, I wanted him to, to like, repeat what he said. You don't work here? You. Grabbing the stuff out of the boxes and putting it on the shelf. You're just some guy who came into Whole Foods and did that? 
Turns out he was a vendor. So, yeah, he is some guy. He is some guy. That, that's exactly it. Oh, that's my temper's funny. been, my temper's been, uh, my, been creeping up nowadays. I don't know if uh, you've noticed. Well, from your story, I think I just now. Yeah. I'm sorry I spoiled the story no, for you. No, it's, it's, it's. It, Saw I, a little bit of the temper there. I, it wasn't a temper. It was just more of like. <laughs> you, you, you just spilling like my birthday cake. I know. That was I it. know. That's fine though. That I still love you. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You know what would have been more awkward if I didn't address it and the whole show you're thinking about it? Oh, you know what I'm thinking about now? What? Your little uh, yoga teacher program. And like kind of how like uh, these situations you were talking about. And remember we were kind of having a little debate about the guy who was talking to you. Oh, yeah. The yoga thing. How funny if he was in the teacher program with you. He is. I'm not. A, I'm not. This is not a bit. He is in the class with me. How's that going? Going good. Okay. I'm just I took your advice. Oh, okay. And I took William's advice. I'm just like, hi, very cordial, very yeah. high, you know, super friendly, but that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're just trying to be nice. I promise you. I know, but <laughs> I have an issue a little bit with, uh, I don't, I'm not, I can't say this stuff unless I have the class. Can't say about the class. You know, it's weird to me. What? Someone who hasn't been doing yoga for like years trying to do a yoga teacher program. Oh, that's weird. That's some hot goss right there. That is hot gossip. Is that, that short hot for goss go gossip? Hot gossip, yeah. yeah. No, seriously though. Think about it. What other Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's not that insane, but it is a little insane. Right. Because of the stuff you're having to learn at such a fast pace, even though it's spread out across months. Right. And this isn't me like Talking about the qualifications of people that are there, but you did say it is like a cheaper version. You know, it's, no, it's not. It's it that, but the quality is very high. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I feel like maybe they think they can get away. Yeah, you know? I just feel like oh, it's mm, cheap. Yeah, I can just you know. Yeah, it's very bizarre. I got it's, this money just laying around. Let me go. You'll get teacher program. Twenty five hundred bucks. I got a lot of money. We'll do. <laughs> That's a substantial amount. I know. I know. Yeah, and I've like I already like I told you I already started before COVID hit. Dude, this is the city though, where people just are like, I'm gonna do this now. The amount of people I have come across who are like, I'm an actor now. What you have you trained? Go to college for that? You're taking a class? No, no, no. I'm just. I just had this conversation with somebody. Isn't yeah. that isn't that like freaking especially with acting? It blows my mind. Or modeling. Yeah. And they're they're like, I'm not from here. I just moved down and it's like, wow. That That's... takes balls. <laughs> well I wish you the best of luck. It but... does. And I don't know if it and I don't think a lot of critical thinking went into it. Yeah. Sorry. I mean be realistic because that is so insane. I'm you know what? Because this is what had to go through their heads. Either like maybe most people were like, "Okay, I'm gonna go into a city. I'm gonna move to L.A., super populated. It's already expensive yeah. to live there, and I'm going to jump into one of the most competitive professions. And right. it's even more competitive now because anybody in the world can do a self tape. So, yeah. So now you're competing with the London market. Yeah. You're competing with uh, all of Europe, all of Eastern, uh, the New York, Atlanta, Vancouver, Toronto, people all over America. Yeah. Good luck. And you don't have any training in it? And yeah. you think you're going to do good? One of the casting directors I follow showed how many submissions she got for one role. Lord. It was almost 15,000 submissions in like 48 or 72 hours. That's why I like in-person auditions so much better. Fifteen thousands, and not, and these are submissions to be considered to do the self. -tape. Right? Yeah. And then after, <laughs> Lord, uh, could you ever be a casting director? No. Me neither, man. I can't wait till we have David Rappaport back on. Uh, that's who we have to have our first guest as David Rappaport yeah, in the new it. studio. Um, I want to ask him so many freaking questions. Like, hey, how are you not crazy? <laughs> 
I, I, they probably are. They're just very internalized craziness. How do you deal with like looking at a at a submission and seeing yeah. thousands and thousands? Literally, I would go, okay, first ten people. You have to go a little bit crazy while doing it. Also, you have to. Also, I, you know what? I can't wait to talk to him about what. Bad actors. Okay. Oh, David Rappaport. This is the clip, by the way. Okay. David Rappaport. David. I cannot wait to have you on the show. <laughs> I know we've been doing this now for months and months. Both, either your schedule doesn't work out, and then I'm shooting something or whatever. It's fine. I get it. We. I'm super stoked to have you on the show, and I can't wait to hear bad audition stories. Yes. That's part of. That's going to be part, a small part of the talk, but. That makes me so excited to hear. It's like yeah. actor goss. See, I just took his saying, actor goss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Getting the young, hip slang. I'm hip. I'm down with I'm it. I'm hip. I'm down. I don't know why I, I started I, I ride this. my skateboard down to hey, the studio. Hey, what's this thing that kids are going to do? Like, Yee. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's old now. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it. it <laughs> I just – what does this mean? I, that is – Is that heroin? You know what? I don't even know how to describe it, man. And I know that's such a cop out. Like I don't know how to describe it because it was not something like I did or yeah. anything. I just saw people doing. That wasn't. I saw people doing it, but it wasn't like it's a very young demographic. I think that are doing it. And then the like mid twenty people that think they're hip and young. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this is such a weird bit we're talking about here. If you don't know what I, if you're listening to the show, I had my arm out and two fingers on my left bicep. Yeah, and they'll bite their lip while doing it. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, oh, you're condoning heroin use? I don't know what that means. We'll go with that. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, I can't, I, I cannot imagine having a child right now. Can you imagine LKW, little kid Wee Sam, running around? Little kid Wee Sam. Yeah, he's like, on, 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 he's, he, dude, how funny would that be? I do a podcast with him. He's like, this is cool. This is, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool place. This is your world, huh, daddy? I'd be like, yeah. And he's like, oh, this, this is crazy. How old do they start doing the podcast? As soon as they can, like, have, whenever they start rambling. I love when okay. kids ramble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then I like throwing curveballs at them. Okay. Yeah. Something you know, whenever they're talking, and I go, "How old are you?" They're like, "I'm, I'm, oh, I'm six. And I'm like, "Oh, I just turned seven last week." And they're like, oh. "Their brain, make their brain start." Yeah, they're like, some kids are like, "You're not seven. And some kids are like, "Oh," and they're like looking around at their parent. They're like, "What? Is he seven? He doesn't seem seven. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, it's fun. Wean out the smart from the weak, right away. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> natural selection. Okay. Yeah, I'm not having kids. <laughs> we should have a purge. Well, <laughs> we're kind of in the middle of one, unfortunately. Not the kind that we want. Make all crime legal for 24 hours. Dude, that is so... Do it. You say that so creepily. You're, you're like a pervert, aren't you? <laughs> The way you said that made me go, he's a pervert. Do it. He's going to be showing himself naked to a bunch of Whoa. people. Whoa. We see him texting me this morning saying, let's do the show nude. I did. And I'm the pervert. Yeah. <laughs> We're both perverts. <laughs> I can't say yes or no to that. That's fair. Somebody said to me, aren't you worried about having a podcast and you being an actor? And I said, yes, 100%. <laughs> You know, that's the honest answer. I say yes. Yeah. But at the same time, I like I like doing this. But we don't do it live. So you know what? Uh, yeah. We can cut out stuff. But at the same time, you can take almost anything out of, like, out of clips. Yeah. I wonder what oh, I would. It's dangerous. Yeah. Some of those old guys nights have been kind of not dangerous, but. We've just been a little wacky. I I don't think. No, no, they're not bad. No, we've just been a little outrageous with them. Yeah. Trust me, I'd be the first to let you know if I'm, like, I think we should cut this out. Well, we did have to bleep out that one time, and we did bleep it out. Remember oh, yeah, when Isaiah? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We can't even say the word he said. Yeah. It's not that. By the way, I it's know. not that we, bad of a we word. We make it. 
there it's just a little <laughs> it's a controversial word yeah 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 and it's not the most controversial word right. otherwise i don't think he'll get jonte would have uh, jonte would have not sat there if he would have said that yeah which i rewatched that's why i bring it up i rewatched it i'm like it kind of looks like he <laughs> Like he said the N word to him, but I was right. like, "That's it's not that." Right. But it's kind of funny that you don't know what it is. That's part yeah. of the the funness of it. Yeah, yeah. And then I said it. <laughs> and then you encouraged him. I didn't encourage. You endorsed the behavior. I did not encourage it. You're both drunk and chanting the word, and he's over there. I'm not a part of that. He got so drunk. There's that Smallville actress that just got arrested for, like, the cult stuff. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I wasn't a part of that. Like, I I, I was I was forced to do it kind of stuff. That's yeah. what you sound like right now. A little bit. That, I know, but you're not extreme as, like, sex trafficking in a cult. So no, you know what? No, 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 we're, no. We're good there. I'm not down with the sef tra sex tra trafficking. I'm against sex trafficking. Good. Why good. Was that you so heard it here first. We Sam's, Sam's against sex trafficking. No. Say no to sex you know trafficking. You know what I think they should do to guys who are, like, caught sex trafficking? Especially, yeah. like, underage you girls. You cut their penis Especially. off. I think they should be publicly executed. Oh, okay. Like a show. We're going straight to that. Yeah. And, like, guys, look at this piece of shit. And yeah, if yeah, you yeah. do this, this is what – we're going to hunt you down like this. Oh, okay. I think that needs to be done more often with people like that. Yeah. Sex traffickers. Purge. I'll give you an example why. These two uh, guys were running away from the police in a car, mm -hmm. and they were um, they were uh, uh, being chased because they were suspected of sex trafficking mm -hmm. and underage girls. And they were, by the way. Ah. They got in a car accident and killed uh, this uh, father, and his son barely survived the car wreck. Ah. Tell me you as a family member of one of those people don't want those people to be oh, just right. – just you want their life to be a living hell yeah. and want them to live as long as possible. Right, right. Honestly, in, in a situation like that as the son, I would probably hire people to murder them mm. in prison mm. and and say make it as horrible as possible for them. See, I'm the opposite of you. Yeah? I would rather them just kind of sit, sit in a cell forever, you know? With, like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. There's sometimes, like, when I think about, like, the death penalty and stuff, I'm like, are we giving them an easy way out? Oh, I see what you're saying. You know? Yeah. All about, I, I think it's a little more extreme for uh, the rest of their life to sit in a concrete box. Yeah. You know? Have you seen The Secret in Their Eyes? It's a foreign film. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert. I'm going to tell you the ending, if that's okay. It's a documentary. I, it's life. Life ain't... <laughs> I'm going to spoil history for you. The Secret in Their Eyes is not a documentary. Oh, I thought you said it was a documentary. No, no. I'm sorry. I said it's a porn film. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where I got – in my head, I heard – my bad. Carry on. I love how that was totally not what I said. Uh, I don't understand the English language. Uh, so. Dude, I <laughs> – I want to rewatch just this Dude, part of this. Dude, in show. my brain, I heard <laughs> documentary, and I went, "Yes, it was a documentary." I'm like, "Wait, I said foreign <laughs> film." You're like, "What?" <laughs> anyway, uh, spoiler alert. Fast forward if uh, you don't want this ruined. Uh, this guy's love of his life gets raped and murdered, mm. and at the end, um, they're trying to find the killer and everything. The detective can't find him, etc. And then he actually follows the guy back to his home to this like home he has and then he goes into like this secret room underneath the basement and this is mind you fast forwarded like i don't know 30 years after the rape and murder took place yeah he bro he was keeping him hostage for like mm. 30 years the the husband of the wife and the detective saw him like giving him food and you could tell the guy's just like like just a broken human being yeah you know what i mean and he he tells he he's telling the guy please please just he won't say anything to me right 
he hasn't he he hasn't talked to anybody and he's not the guy who's keeping him hostage. He's not even talking to him. He's leading he's literally just keeping him alive. Mm -hmm. For thirty years. Damn. And the detective when he asks the guy like the guy, I think there's a line in there, something like this where he says, Um, we both have to live through this hell. It's like Oh fuck. Yeah. It is not a happy movie. Yeah. But it's a good one. It's such a twist. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine that guy for thir that's I think that's the kind of punishment you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good punishment. But for 30 that's years, good. dude, you just feeding the guy, taking care of him and not saying a single word to him. Yeah. Having his conscience just eat away at him. Yeah. That's a long game right there. Yeah. Movies without happy endings are the best movies. And, like, I know that sounds weird, but, like... Okay. There are so many... 90% of films, like, they have, like, a little happy ending. Yeah. You know, at the end. I love when a film throws a curveball at you and it's not a happy ending. Yeah, like that. I think those have the most impact on me. And I remember those movies more. Yeah. Yeah. You feel happy that you saw it. And you're like, that's how life is. <laughs> you're like, that's good. Uh, Sure. Yeah. You're, we can go with you're, that. You're, 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 you're unraveling. Yeah. Since the years I've known oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've you're been unraveling. spiraling out of control. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. an interesting spiral. Yeah. It's like a, a spiraling upward and yeah, outward yeah. of like you're you're organically evolving into this, you know, yeah. freak. Yeah. Is that okay to say nowadays, freak? Freak? Yeah. Y yeah, we yeah. – the word freak's okay. Should I call you freak nasty from now on? Freak nasty? Yeah. Should that be your new nickname? Sure. I don't want to take a poll. I want to figure out a new name. Where for does me. nasty come from? I don't know. Okay. How are the Red Bulls hanging out for you? Are those good? Yeah, it's a sugar-free Red Bull. Yeah. yeah. Apparently that caffeine is not naturally derived, so they do it in a, like a – Anything in a, in a can is not – they're lying to you. <laughs> Anything in a can, is. they are lying to you. Yeah. Peyton Grufik. I, honestly, I'll stand by it. Anything, Anything that says, like, I'm in a can and I'm the healthiest drink for you. You don't think so? No, it's in a can. It's like pre-processed. It goes through a factory. Yeah. You think it's made with love and, like, oh, it's good for me. Some stuff, maybe. maybe it's like a little. Yeah, when I drink, like, a Gatorade, like a giant red Gatorade, yeah, they'll put on the outside, like, hey, we got vitamin D in here. That's so weird. Okay, cool. Apparently, yeah, I haven't had Gatorade in a long time. Apparently, if you're getting colonoscopy, you can't have the red Gatorade because then it looks all like you're, 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 yeah, yeah, you're just bleeding everywhere yeah. inside. Beets too, dude, dude. It always scares me when I eat a lot of beets. Yeah, and I go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm just pooped all this blood. Yeah. And sometimes if you eat like a lot of beets, it's actually like a dark purple instead of a red. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. I remember there was this, uh, oh, it's, it's like a, I, I, I don't have it now, but it was like a dietary supplement kind of thing I took. And like, it would make my pee just this dark, dark yellow. And like, I was told it would do this, but it was very alarming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I first bet. happened oh, yeah. and I forgot. Yeah. Vitamins obviously make your pee really yellow. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you. Yeah, I think the weirdest color it has like a dark yellow pee. Yeah, and usually people get like almost like a, a brownish pee. Or almost like, is whenever your your kidneys aren't able to process the, you're working out way too hard, so mm -hmm. they can't process the dead, you know, muscle in your system. It's very weird. My mom wants me to call her. Oh, shit, right now? No, she just... <laughs> should we bring her on the show? We should, yeah. Right yeah. now? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. She doesn't... I, I couldn't just FaceTime her or anything. She, she doesn't do that? She's... No, no. She's on like a $0 T-Mobile free uh, Android phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize to her. I keep telling her like... Mrs. Grufik, what are you doing? <laughs> the weirdest phone I've ever used. Like, the home button is, like, on the back underneath the camera. That's a cool place Like, for it's it. just a poorly designed end of its lifespan. She's had it for, like, eight years. Uh, 
free Android phone. Well, <clears throat> speaking of phones, uh, we're going to take a quick break here in a second. But We can go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Well, when we come back, we'll talk about the new iPhone and technology. Uh, Dude, Tesla. Yeah. Just get a Tesla. I know. It's so easy. Just get a Model 3. Yeah, I just walk up and say, give me Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a used one for pretty cheap. I think your definition of cheap and my definition of cheap. There two might grand? Be a, a used Tesla for two grand? Yeah. No. Yeah, you can get it, man. What world? Well, you just Google it. It's missing all the parts. It's just a shell of a Tesla. <laughs> two grand. Well, if you're getting a car, my car was worth more than that, apparently. <laughs> and Tesla's like, they go for spare pennies nowadays. Yeah. You know, first of all, the new iPhone that's coming out. Did they unveil it? Yeah. Did I miss it? Yeah, you did. Okay. I don't keep up with that stuff. Well, that's the thing I wanted to talk about was how excited I used to be about the new iPhone that would come out every year. When did that excitement slow down for you? <laughs> Cool. So I moved out to L.A. in 2009, mm -hmm. and a few months before I moved out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the iPhone, and it was the iPhone 3GS. Hell yeah. And I was like, this is – this phone is going to be great yeah. because it has GPS. Yeah. Has my mail. I can check my email for any auditions right on the go. I don't have to be at a computer. Right. And so – um, I was like, I'm going to use this to really, like, help me with my acting. Yeah. And I got it the first year, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then when the 4S came out, the 4 came out, I was like, oh, whoa. Um, I'm going to wait till the 4S comes out. The 4S came out, and I was like, I'm going to upgrade. And it was, like, square, like, edges. Yeah. And I was like, oh, those are cool. <laughs> And it was faster, better camera. Yeah. And every year for the next like few years, the jump in technology yeah. was so huge that I was like, oh, I have to get this new one. Right. Because A, it helps me out. And plus, I was on a monthly payment plan. Mm -hmm. So every two years, I could upgrade. Yeah. So I was like, oh, my battery's already running low and or it's not as good as it used to be. And so, great, I will just get the new one. I'll yeah. sell this one and get the new one. E e easy as pie. Or yep. turn this one in. And then, around that time, too, like, I didn't have a flat screen TV. And flat screen TVs were pretty expensive to buy. Yeah, it's still. funny. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, like, especially, I remember my first one I bought and I had to wait outside at Black Friday at Target here in North Hollywood which was so much fun with me and my buddies because what we did is the night they opened at like 5 a.m. Yeah. So we started – we had our Thanksgiving dinner, and then we all went out and got in a line, and we were like eighth in line to get these 55 or 50-inch flat-screen TVs, full HD. And we were like, oh, we cannot wait. And they were going for like $300, and we were like, oh, my gosh, let's do it. And so – we ended up buying two each of us so we can sell the second one for a little bit more. How dare you all? Yeah. How dare you all? People bought Y'all scalped. I know. So what we d so it was fun though waiting in line because we play board games, we would hang out, we'd watch like movies and Yeah. It was like a fun thing to do, you know? And then, you know, after you don't want to do that every year. Cause like the next year they had like a, Right. A 55 inch and they're like oh shit let's get the 55 inch yeah and then we did it and it just wasn't as fun like we noticed people were getting crazier and we're like oh, oh yeah. this isn't fun anymore like right. we did it as a like a bonding let's do something like f stay up all night in this line and have fun yeah, and yeah. the people we were around were fine but this one people were like <sighs> I want that I want we're like oh this is losing its appeal it's like those people who stand outside um, GameStop, you know what I mean? For the, mm -hmm. like a, a new game to be released. You're talking with fellow gamers oh, and yeah. everything. Nobody's like rushing in there, uh, to kill each other. Right. You know, 
And like with the GameStop and everything, ninety percent of the time you already have it like pre ordered and everything. There's no rush. Right. You your copy is guaranteed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, you know, I was like, Hey, I already have a TV. I don't need to upgrade. Yeah. I'm not waiting in line. And then thank God the year we stopped doing it was the year they were like, We're gonna open at midnight now and so the line mm-hmm. started earlier. And it's like I'm not gonna skip Thanksgiving dinner yeah, just to yeah. be- and then it, it would start like the day before, and it's like, guys, when's Black Friday? Is not Black Friday anymore. It's right. Thanksgiving Day sale. Yeah. So, those jumps in technology throughout the years got smaller and smaller to where, I think when the iPhone 10 versus the 11 came out, I was like, yeah, there's not much change in it. Yeah. And then they started doing this plan with AT and T, which I've been on since the beginning, which I like. Basically, I'm leasing the phone. Yeah. I just turn in this phone at the end of my cycle, and I get the new one. And what I like about that is it's helped me with my self-tape auditions because the camera quality is better. Mm-hmm. And you might be wondering to yourself, well, it's the camera. Yeah, uh, or they're like they're similar. You can shoot an audition and be fine on all of them. Well, yes and no. If I'm on the go and I don't have all the proper lights I need, I need something that does well in low light. Mm-hmm. And also the sound quality, the microphone on has improved. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, cool. I need the be- I want the best microphone available. And now this is probably the best phone to shoot self-tape with I have ever had in my life. Yeah. It works great in low light. It works great with like no outside noise. It could only like um, enhance my sound coming into it. So I don't have to worry about a lot of things and – it just streamlines the whole process. So, sorry, you were going to say something? No. Oh. Uh, uh, and so I – yeah, like I'm just – this new one just came out, and I did wake up at like 4.45 to pre-order it. And I just pre-ordered it, and it's coming in, and I'm like – what? What's new about it? What are we – is there anything that's really exciting about uh, one, it? Or? One thing that is actually super cool, okay. and you can do this in post. Okay. It's called cinematic mode, and you can actually, let's say if there's a two shot, yeah, you can choose who's being as the video as the video is already playing, who's being in focus and who's not in focus. Okay, I think that's pretty freaking awesome. So, it's a new camera it's, on the new phone. That's kind of the thing again. Oh like yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, better camera. Yeah, yeah, it's a more advanced camera. It's system. always what it is now. Yeah. One day. It's not. It's not. It's not like a crazy right, thing. I'm right. not saying it's crazy. And honestly, and what is this gonna be? Is this the 12 or is 13? This, this is the 13. This is okay. iPhone 13. And it is what it is. Like that's yeah. all. They were talking some other stuff about. Oh, it has 120 uh, refresh rate, like a uh, frames per second for video games. Oh, okay, that's cool. That it can because yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been trying to do some like uh, cloud streaming. Yeah. On. Oh, okay. No, that's cool. 120 is, like, amazing. Yeah. You're getting really good quality in your gaming. Yeah. And I game, you know, my free time on my phone, yeah. you know, like 15, 20 minutes at a time. So it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. That's My TV can't even do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to enjoy it when it comes out. I'm going to turn this in. And, and also the battery, that's a big thing for me. I know it just makes sense for what I need in my life. Yeah, for, yeah. F- but for most people, I'm like, don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not going to find any big right. difference in your life. However, I'm all about upgrading computers, and that's why I'm really excited for them to announce yeah. the next Mac, uh, IMAX, for 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 us. And yeah, can't wait. Cannot wait. Yeah, just uh, I'm. I, it's going to take a lot for me to be excited about the next type of. Um, technological advancement on a phone mm-hmm. like the samsung i saw it at the the samsung store the flip phone that's like a screen that bends and flips yeah open. and i looked at it and my brother just took the words out of my mouth he goes what's the practicality of that right it's also just very ugly it's a very ugly looking phone mm. because it still has that crease down the middle of the screen that you see at all times. And it's like, that's just, it's very ugly. <laughs> yeah. It's not streamlined. Yeah. I have that super thin case on mine too, which I absolutely love. I kind of got, it's not like that, but like it just barely, it protects yeah. the screen because it just barely 
yeah pops out a little does yours yeah fairly yeah, yeah. and it does the, the same for the back camera because the yeah. lenses pop is yours out. plastic or it's like some kind of plastic because it's got a little i got a little rubber yeah yeah I, I guess it's rubber okay or not rubber but it is a softer plastic yeah. so i know that's a little thing but man growing up I'm 33. I'm almost 34 years old. Growing up as like a young teenager or a preteen, I would have never imagined I'm able to do all this. Yeah. Never. I would have never thought that. Can we talk about those weird colors on the new Max you <laughs> sent me? Bro, they're obviously appealing to a demographic yeah. because those oh are not goodness. professional looking. We got like yellow, orange, green. Which one would you choose? The silver is the only one I would go for. I wish they just did a black. Just a They're solid. They're saving that for the pro. Because <laughs> it, it, my big thing, I want everything to come in black. Same. Any technology Same. to come in black. I only got the red thing because that's what they had. <laughs> and I, it, it was a thing of like my phone broke that day and it was like I need something now. Should get a black case then. I know. This was just uh they had like a deal thing of like if you get this case, like you get like 50 you buy the phone, you get like this accessory for 50% off. So I got like a bunch of different things. Gotcha. And well, it like, seems like you like, don't you really love protector. black then. If you really love black, wow. I think you would have, yeah. It was up it was more I need the phone. Yeah. And like it's very on the whim. Well, we'll, see. well, yeah. well we just Whoa. we just saw like your, you know, we just saw like who you are as a person. Wow, you're you're a liar. You've literally lied. That's and, and you're, true. You, oh, no, it wasn't a lie actually. You you, you mishear things. You lie yes. to yourself. You lie to me. You lie yes. to your wife. Yes. You lie to your parents. Yes. You don't seem bothered by this. No. <laughs> you're okay with all just being a, a person who doesn't interact correctly with the reality around him this is my reality what this is my reality it, well from your i don't like when when you're a liar <laughs> <laughs> uh will you get a new ps5 uh the little like things are you gonna get those in black when yeah you, yeah I, are they not i thought they were already out yeah i think I think they announced them, but like I, I, I forget if they're available to buy yet. Yeah. They just dropped the new controllers, like and everything. Are and they black? Need... Yeah, I already have a black one. <sighs> yeah. I wish there was a cover for the two white controllers, because honestly, I don't want to drop money on just. I mean, I do. But yeah. It's just. There's a guy white... on Amazon. You can uh, customize the middle part too. You know how it's like white. Yeah. With your controller, white and black, there in the middle. He uh, found a way to pop off that part super easily and put these customizable ones in there. Oh. And I had a friend get in. He's like, it took me like five minutes like to just pop it out. And he put like a – I think he put like a red in the middle. Oh, can you send me that link? Yeah. Okay. Because if it's easy to do – what free dude, I have to update the controllers, which I'm like – I kind of like, but it's yeah. a little annoying. I'm wondering what – like what could we possibly be doing? To the controller. They have to be adding certain movements or certain... Like certain haptic, like... That's the only thing... That's the only thing I can think of, too. I'm like, you're not fixing the battery through, like, an update or something. That's not possible. I mean, it's possible. How can, like, a... But, yeah, it's not unlikely. Yeah. I, so it has to have a computer in the, these controllers. These controllers have some form of, like, a CPU, then. Oh, yeah. And Xbox and is about to copy them. And everything. Of course they are. Yeah. Which, listen, I'm not, I, I don't give a shit about the console wars. Yeah, yeah. But I feel Xbox is so many steps behind PS5. Yeah. They're catching up a little bit, in my opinion. They are? Okay. I think so. At least and, a step behind. Right, right, right. Yeah. And like, I, I, I see myself getting an Xbox down the line. And just because I, when it was PS3, Xbox 360, I had a 360. Because in my opinion, that was the obvious yeah. choice. PS3 was not the superior console gotcha. at that time. But when it became PS4, Xbox One, oh, there was no competition. You, I don't have a bias. I just want the better console. You want to know what I'm, what I want to get for Christmas if I'm, if, if things are going well. What? Financially, I want to get an, a bigger TV in the living room. Okay. How big are we talking? 
Like, are you wanting like a big, like eighty inch? Like, I I want an eight K. Okay. I know nothing shows an eight K. Right. But I want an eight K. Doesn't the PS Five broadcast an eight K? No, I think it's just four K. Can you look that up actually right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I need to find out because that's the only reason. I'm pretty sure it's just. I think you're wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a yeah, yeah, yeah aggressive way, but because that's the only thing. It has to be. PlayStation Five will eventually support AK eight K content. Eventually. Eventually, and here's the thing. I don't think any video games are outputting any 8K quality right now either. Damn it. That's the thing. (laughs) So even like if it did, like. (laughs) I know, dude. Yeah. I know. I just, I just love big TVs. Yeah. I'm such a guy in that way, which I didn't expect to be. Right. Where it's that classic stereotypical you gotta get the, you gotta get the big TV. Right. And then I'm like, yeah. And then I look at barbecues <laughs> now, and I'm like, I need to get the big barbecue. You guess does, does it have an extra? Yeah. What if I want to smoke? Right. A whole cow, and yeah. I yeah. In the future, what if I want that room? Right. I do that with my certain electronics though, and the car I got. I actually yeah, because I yeah. was like, if I'm gonna buy. If I'm getting a Tesla, I'm getting the higher end. Model right. Three. Right. Right. Yeah. Which worked out financially. It's not like I do this stuff irresponsibly, which I think is a difference between me and some other people. There's a lot of financial planning that goes into whenever I do buy things or mm-hmm. invest in things for the long term, like the studio. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or computers, for instance. Because once we sell the old computer, we're basically paying off most of the profit yeah. for the new computer, and it's just going to make your life easier. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah, we gotta awesome. get that like RAM out though. We're not getting rid of that. <laughs> oh, you can keep it. Oh, yeah, you can keep it in there. Well, yeah, I'm like saying we transfer it over to oh. the new one. I don't think we should keep it in there. <laughs> if it transfers to the M1, great. If not, yeah. then yeah. Why do you why 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 do you not want to sell it with the? Well, you I remember you bought like yeah those additional yeah ones because it just comes with the one and then you bought three more yeah. Why would we give that away when we? We're not giving. We're selling with, it. We're selling it with it. Yeah, I know, but I feel like we can still sell it for a good price, and they don't even need to know that we added three things in there at a point. So, but we still advertise it as only that amount of RAM. We don't. No, want, no, I'm not. Say, I'm not saying we false dude, advertise. That's what it sounded no, like. No, that's not what I'm saying, dude. I think it would still go dude. for. It. What I'm saying is, I know, like, I know, if we okay. advertise it as I, – I don't remember how much RAM it is. 128. Yeah, if we – Advertise it as 64. If we 32. advertise it as 64 or we advertise it at 128, I feel like we could find the same price point if it were either. Okay. And people would still buy it. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Jeez. There is some college filmmaker out there who would love to have it. That's very true, actually. Yeah. You know, you know that's – I've sold all my old computers to students. Yeah. Holy they, crap, I oh just yeah. realized that. No, no, no. They definitely, yeah. The students are always in the market for like a uh, good used computer. I just never realized that. Yeah. I'm going to be, uh, like me and Mads are hoping like in the coming like years, we can save up for like a nice little sofa or something. And right now we have like a little futon there. Uh, because it bends down th- so when people visit, they can sleep on it. That's the main thing. We want a sofa that people can comfortably sleep on uh, when they're there. And I know when I sell that futon, some college kid is <laughs> going to come and buy it from me. Yeah. Knew a girl who <sighs> – wow, this is when I first moved to L.A. She was friends with – and she was our old neighbor mm-hmm. and or at that time the current neighbor – and she had gone over to one of my roommate's friends, one of my room, my roommate's girlfriend's house. We all went as a party, and she crashed at their place, and she ended up peeing on the futon, and they had to sell the futon. And in classic fashion, they didn't tell people somebody peed on it. Oh. 
This is the same apartment where these chicks were living in. And I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the girls who lived in there were, were not the brightest. Mm-hmm. We're not the brightest. You know that space underneath the oven? That's the broiler? Yeah. They used it as a, guess what? Storage. like Storage yeah. for magazines. Mag, what? Why? What? Used it as a magazine storage. Place. What? Like, is storage of, like, Tupperware or something? Sure. What? I know. Almost caused. It doesn't even make a sense. House fire before I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about what made them go, magazines. That's where they go. Well, one of the girls was uh, literally dating a literal convict. And oh, good. He ended up robbing them from uh, all oh, their Lord. laptops and all their like. <laughs> yep, he really did. And, she, and guess what? She still dated him. Ah, good, good, good. So you, you know they're smart. We, I think this is it. We are at the time. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, man. I know we're only doing hour-long episodes, and we haven't had a guest in a little bit, but I'm telling you guys, stay patient. New studio's coming in, and it's going to be freaking awesome. We're busy. We really are. Do Don't I? judge us. We're too busy. Too busy. I don't know why I did that. Um, always remember uh, to listen, think, talk. Make sure you subscribe to the show. Hit that notification bell if you're watching and listening on YouTube. Or, you know what? If you enjoyed it, share it with a friend. It goes a long way to help us grow. And, um, yeah, Peyton, love you. Love you, too. Always. Follow us on Twitch. Are we on? We're not on Twitch. You're on Twitch. We Sam's World is on Twitch. On you it. heard it here first. Oh, by the way, we're going to, in the new studio, we're going to do more Let's Play. Okay. I think that'll be really fun. Yeah. In there. We could definitely. New Phasmophobia update. Saw it. Terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. What bugs me, though, you don't get scared when we play these games. I'm not going to get scared with any game. I, I'm, I'm sorry. That bothers me a lot. You know that? That I don't get scared in video games? Can we talk about Horror Nights real quick? Sure. We saw Frankie. Our buddy Frankie was at Horror Nights. Yeah. Frankie, awesome job, dude. Yeah. Well, I do. I wasn't there. You were there. I, 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 there were the, like five people all in that cowboy oh, attire. So okay. You know, I'm, I Maybe. maybe. May, that was the best haunted area, though. Everybody was on their A game. And because they have the whole back lot. It was a purge theme thing, and they had the entire like studio back lot wow. as their haunted house. Of course, that one's gonna be the best one. Yeah. <laughs> was it worth it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, I, I might go. Do you want to get the uh, fast track tickets? You have to get the fast pass. Yeah, tickets. that's that's that, that's the only way to do it. I saw people waiting in line for hours. I, lines were two hours long. You're not gonna get everything done if you don't get the. Me and Matt's got the fast pass, and uh, we were done with all the haunted houses by uh, ten, and still had like three hours to go. And we got to do, like, rides and stuff. That's, That's awesome. That's the only way to do it. What time did you enter the park? Uh, six. But uh, we we went around to, like, the shops for the first time, so we started doing haunted houses at seven. It's funny. The outro music has still been playing over all of this. <laughs> Bye, guys. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs>